It's April 1st, which means that, well, like I checked my phone here. Yeah, that's the insurance planting date uh, for spring planting here. So we can start planting corn and beans. Now I had a whole video record of purchasing equipment, everything like that. But my idiot deleted the whole thing off my desktop, all the footage, because I was cleaning up my desktop and it's gone. So we did end up purchasing uh, a couple tractors. We purchased a 4955. It was some awesome role play, but I, uh, I deleted it off my computer. Uh, 4955. It's right around 200 horse. She's turned up a little bit. Um, and then we also had the 7110 that we had previously. Uh, we have two 630 discs. These are going to be basically used in the spring. I don't have a field cultivator bought yet. I found these at auction, so I bought these. It would be cool to buy a field cultivator, but these discs, they do a good job leveling. So I think we can use this right before the planter, and we should be good. And then we also bought a new Holland skids here. Had a couple trees we've been taking out here. It's, uh, we've been trying to clean up the place a little bit. There's a couple trees that need to take care of. And then we do have the 7150 Case H Magnum. I need to put duels on this tractor. And I'm also going to purchase a planter. We all also purchased a five shank ripper. John Deere's 2720. It's a new one, but we got a pretty good deal on it. And then we also got a 40 foot gooseneck trailer and two gravity wagons. I'm hoping over the summer I can purchase two more gravity wagons. But for now... We're, we're starting pretty small. The infrastructure's there, the shed's there, but eventually we'll buy more tractors and equipment. And then we also got a Kenzie 1050 grain cart. It's a little too big uh, for the 4955, but as long as we keep it light, we should be fine. Rex, roll over. <laughs> Hold on. Go fetch, Rex. Hey. Wrong way. There you go. Read some books. Yeah, hello. Hey, Buck, how you doing? Oh, pretty good right now. I just finished up some last minute field work to basically make a little bit of a crossing route on some of the roads. Are you planted already? Uh, I'm just about to get everything hooked up and started, but not right now. Okay. Well, I was going to say a couple guys mentioned your name as a guy that is a pretty good farm help. Uh, I was wondering if you would ever want some part time work. Um, as a farmhand here, we're looking. Farmhand, I, I, I say farmhand, no, but I can I can help you out when it comes to just basic field work. Yeah, I just gotta run some tillage and get and get, get seed in the ground. But obviously, if, if you're in the same situation, I, I feel for you too. So uh, as of right now, I I'm a little bit behind on the seed pallet orders. I tried getting some Pioneer seed, but I guess they're back ordered a couple weeks. So yeah, I, hey, I'm working ground all day and I'm planting ground. If you want to come work ground. For, ahead that'd be good i got jeremy out here too he's gonna help work some ground but uh we could use another guy that would be awesome buck okay well um i gotta wait for jeremy to get back right now from the store because he's got my um my case maximum he's getting me some pallet forks so i'll wait for him to come back and then i'll take off so i can kind of give him an kind of give him an idea of what's what's gonna happen okay we're kind of down so I'll do that. I'll make my way up there shortly. We have about 20 minutes or so. Okay. 10-4. Hey, I heard you uh, picked up a new job at uh, Mullet Moen over there on uh, yeah. 54th Street. Possibly. Maybe. Huh. I don't know. Uh, I got a new outfit for it, though. You're a busy That's man. Better. Yeah. And uh, right now, we got pasty white thigh season, and you'll know exactly what I mean by that when I show up. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in a bit, bud. Awesome, Buck. Thanks. Yep. All right. See ya. Yep. We purchased a 12-row case stack fold planner uh which i think is going to be perfect for this tractor um there might be one issue we'll see i'll tell you guys if i get to that but we were at the case dealership they didn't let me film for some reason so and she is squatting the 7150 has all the weight she wants on there we also got the duels on um we didn't actually buy the tractor with duels and they got them on for me so they had a pair of set of duels for a magnum like this they got the duels on and that looks like buck Oh my gosh, he does have pasty white legs. <laughs> were, you, were you listening to me on the phone or what? How'd you hear me? Uh, well, you, you don't usually talk very quiet. Buck, how are you doing? Uh, pretty good. It's getting into that springtime month. I thought I might lose the jeans and the flannel. And at least for now, we'll walk around looking like, uh... Wait, do I have my white New Balances on? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you just got done with a golf game. Well, I was about to go mow, so... Okay, pretty boy. Let's put you to work. What well, do um, you... Uh, we got to run disc ahead of... Uh, well, on some fields, need disc down. There's a lot of residue yet. Uh, do you want to run 4955 or 7110? The 4955 uh, is going to be a little easier on the disc, but you can run the 7110 if you want. It's not going to be easier on your rims. According to me, your tires are flat. 
<sighs> well, they're 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 not flat. They're they're perfect. They're set. We don't want much compaction. We want to lower that tire pressure. Some tire pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can run whatever you need me to. It really doesn't matter. You want to stick me in a deer? Or you want to stick me in a case? Yeah, we'll put the forty nine fifty five on there, and then we can put Germany on the case. So we're good. Sounds like a plan. Okay, jump in there. I'll, uh, I'll pull off the 7110, and then you back up here. All right, so where exactly do you want us to start cutting? Not cutting, but disking. Well, if you want to... Uh, here, follow me in your side-by-side. -side. So this ground right here needs work. It was sunflowers last year. Um, it was just one of those places where, you know, the hot Instagram girls just come to take pictures. That's literally all the farmer did. He made so much money off of it previously. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Um, senior senior photo galore. Yep. Senior photos. All the girls love it. Moms. Every Everybody comes to take pictures here, seems like. Okay. Well, looks like you're going to ruin that trend. It, yeah. And he charged like 50 <laughs> bucks a picture. You got to get in this business, Buck. But yeah, anyways. So start planting sunflowers. Yeah. Anyways, uh, just disc them down and then we're going to plant, well, either corn or beans here is what I'm thinking. So pretty much these four fields going up and down this stretch is what needs work. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I like how we I like how we just drove from <laughs> yeah. there to there just down the driveway. Yeah, it's all I'd say you go. It would be a full year thing. Drives five feet. <laughs> nice. That's it's, real nice. It's all good though. No, if you want to get started, I got seed in the planter and fertilizer. I'm gonna get planting right behind you, man. We're gonna hop in the 7150 Magnum and we're gonna get planting here. She's unfolding. I've never had a stack fold planter, never operated one, so this is going to be interesting here. Uh, we'll put her in gear. And then I should be able to put my marker out too. There we go. Then we'll turn her on. Drop her down. We are officially planting corn. Oh, yeah. We're right now we're playing at uh, four or five mile an hour. I'm going to crank it up to eighth gear, eighth or ninth gear. We'll try planting at five mile an hour. That should be good. There's some rocks out here. We should be picking those rocks, but it's fine. Should be fine for now. Buck, how's it coming along over there? Oh, Holy crap. You sleeping up. in the tractor? No, man. I, I didn't think you had a CD in there. I called you out a little earlier. You didn't answer back. <laughs> I was like, man, he didn't have anything. Holy. Dude, okay, this, I'm up now. this Magnum? It just slips. Like, I try to go faster, the rear wheels slip. Huh. Got screwed. Well, did you check if the differential is not slipping? No, Fine. it's not. Yeah, I I, I don't know. Anyways, it, we're planting. We're just causing a ton of compaction. Well, at least it's not in the seed bed. Um, but, yeah, how, huh. how's that going over there? Uh, pretty smooth right now. I had to do two out. Uh, basically did two headland ones, and then I'm just going to kind of go back and forth here. Do you want me to jump across and do that? Uh, south tiny little field to the left of your house or this little like wheatish or barley field to the other part of that uh, You might want to get yourself uh, a rock. You might want to pick up a Degelman. I actually have a Degelman rock picker. Oh You do Unless could you, I yeah. rent it from you at all? Yes That would be great. Uh, shoot. I, I don't know if I have another I tractor have, though I have my case that I can run through it with okay. The thing about it is that it's a uh, I, well, I'm, I'm lucky because I didn't have very many rocks this year because when I started tilling stuff up, it didn't pull as many. I have to do a little bit of passings around the edges, but yeah, you're going to want at least, uh, I think it's 150. I'm not sure. That that tractor might be able to pull the one that I got. Yours would, but I'll, I'll just bring over my case since that one's already, it's solid. Okay. Well, we finished that cornfield. I hopped in the 4955 quick. We're going to do... Uh... Jeremy had to run and get lunch, so I'm going to take over for him. Heck, I might be able, with 10 mile an hour, I might be able to finish this field before we get done. It's a small little patch right here. This, I like this tractor, the 4955. I like it. Hey, Buck, you there on the CB? I don't know if this one works here. Yeah, it works. A little staticky, but... How's it coming along over there with the rock picker? Uh, it's, it's working fine. The, the problem with this is that... There's a lot of rocks, but they're, they're really little ones. There's not a whole lot of actual big, big ones. I don't think it's going to be a make or break. This uh, Oh, this side's not that great. I'm probably going to have to run a time or two up and down this. Okay. Yeah. It, nothing nothing huge. There ain't no massive boulders, but we obviously don't want any rocks, you know, busting up your, busting up the planter. Yeah. 
Ever ran one of these rock figures yet, bud? I haven't. I thought it'd be fun. It's kind of fun. I mean, it's it, it's difficult because you can't 100% tell where or what you're doing. Yeah. But, I mean, for the most part, it's honestly pretty fun. Huh. What if I tore up this road in the middle here and connected these two fields? Uh, the it, fact that there's a bridge at the end of the roads. Yeah, but it's not a public road. It, it's, it was previous farmer that owned it. It was his road that he used. I mean, you it, do what you want. I'm just over here picking rocks. We got the disc disconnected. I'm going to jump in here, hook up to the ripper. I got a pile of rocks. I got to dump out the rock box, too. That's kind of handy, that little rock box. And we'll back up to the ripper. Everything's hooked up. Got the hydraulics. We should be good to go. We are going to see what this 4955 has. This is, uh... This can be a lot. Now, I gotta have Buck. It's literally a gravel path. So I gotta have Buck probably like, I don't know, drive down it or something, pick up as much gravel as possible with that rock picker. I don't, I don't know if that's gonna work. Here we go. Drop her down and go. And then Buck should be able to pick up all the rocks, because this is literally a rock path. Are you going to come back with the disc, or uh, maybe I need to hook onto the disc after this, and then, uh... Uh, Yeah, so you might want to just run a disc through this, because it, it's combing some of it, but yeah. it's not doing the entire path. That thing's just a little bit wider than my pickup okay. width on this thing. Okay. We drop the ripper, and we'll hook up to the plow, and that'll level out all the plow marks... Buck picked up most of the rocks, so we should be good, and then we can plant that whole field. Yep, she's hooked up. Hydraulics, just missing a pin, but who needs that? And then just a couple passes here to level out these plow marks, and we should be good. Okay, we're done with that, and I think Jeremy got back from lunch, so I'm going to have him go on this field, knock down some of this withered corn, and we're going we're gonna to keep going. Oh, we got about half this field planted so far. We're continuing working. Jeremy's out there working with the 49, still finishing up that. We got a lot done today. We got a ton done. This case is kind of nice. Only thing, the only biggest issue is the wheel slip. Like, the planter's putting so much down pressure that it takes so much weight off the rear end and the rear wheels just slip the whole time. Other than that, we're, uh, we're working pretty good. But anyways, guys, seriously, thanks for watching this one. Me and Rex really do appreciate it. And hey, we... We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.